chance of balancing things. How to make how to make Mirage not a sack of garbage. Okay? Let's actually make Mirage good. Um I don't know what I would do to Axe. Um I think I would the only thing I would like to buff on Axe is probably this. Um because it's garbage, right? So um So basically, we buff the uh, the axe ambush. I don't know it enough about the rest of it to actually say a statement. I just know that the this is um, this kind of this is bad, you know. It doesn't do anything. Um, Mirage thrust. Uh, let's see here. So let's actually, instead of just saying buff, let's actually so, see what we would do to it. Okay. So that's what we would do to imaginary access. So this would essentially do four confusion per clone. It sounds like insane amounts if you're looking at it at the golem, but in reality, when you're looking at a real game, first of all, this is a very easy uh, animation to dodge. It's a half a second cast time, and clones could just insta die of it. You could just back off basically because it's range 200. So there's a ton of ways you can actually play around it. Um, so basically, you give it a lot of damage. Honestly, it's still probably not good enough, but that's that's a start at least. So it does double the confusion. Uh, that's a good change. Okay. Mirage Thrust. Because they don't do that, by the way. So basically, the problem of Mirage Thrust is twofold. One, your clones can't actually... Um, react. Your, your clones can't actually do anything, you know? Um, you, if they hit it, you don't proc any trait anyway. So, it, like, you're losing a lot of benefits from the days there. And another problem is, like, I saw, showed you in the video, where it's, like, really slow. You can't hit it, because it just bugs out. Um, I don't know if I'd nerf Ether Barrage. I would nerf Ether Barrage, I feel. It's just garbage still. Maybe... So that it's actually usable in a team fight, right? We leave it everything else it is. Um, but basically, the attack from the scepter should be some form of beam that takes damage instead. You can still dodge it the exact same way as before, but now you can't just sidestep it, which you can do now, which is just garbage. You'll just sidestep it. Like, if you spam AD, then this won't hit. Um, and also, if you make it not a projectile, then it doesn't die to all the projectile hate. So that's good. Why would you nerf at the barrage? I'm not nerfing it, I'm buffing it. So when it comes to, to the ambush skill of Split Surge, I don't think there's anything we can do to save it. I think that this skill is so off the deep end that it's just completely hot garbage. Uh, to the point where we should just fire the dev who made the skill. Um, and uh, that will basically... It won't make the skill better, but at least it'll have been avenged, you know? Um, so that's the thing. That's the thing. It's, it'll, it's still going to be garbage. It's always going to be garbage, but it'll be avenged at least. Um, that's not cool. What do you mean that's not cool? I'm trying to avenge the fucking skill. Okay. Chaos Vortex. So I don't think... Uh, like, sure, Chaos Vortex is not as strong as the Barrage. 
But I think we're gonna leave it as it is. Just make sure they can actually fucking hit. Because um, they can't hit right now, you know? It, it, it's it's the same problem. You could just sidestep it and it just misses. Like, if you sp if you stand still and ch ch eddy, 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 then you'll just miss these. And people just do that accidentally. And then you're just missing this and it's bullshit. Um, And what I mean with that is basically the tra trajectory of the ability, you know? Um, so, uh, def definitely speed up the attack path of this so it actually can hit. Um, in general, I would also want it to have at least half a second to one second more. Um, So I would add, because uh, right now you you have to ambush pretty much immediately after you dodge, and that leaves no room to basically, you just have to instantly press the ability. It would be cool to basically have the window open a little bit longer. Um, so that's, that's definitely a good change. I don't know what these do. Pff, false oasis. Why even do this though? We know it won't have any impact at all. Denshi. Let me let me teach you something. The reason we're doing this is simple. Because I believe that we, as a community, have a voice. I believe that we together can ban to make this game great. I believe that in six months, nay, in three months, that we will have a land stage, a robust PvP community again, we will have thousands of viewers of Twitch, and it's all because of projections like this, where we all band together and we say what we want and we make the game better, we make the game great. Uh, like, I genuinely believe in a fantastic... It's for the viewers. It's for easy viewers. People like this type of shit. I couldn't give any less of a fuck than she. But it's easy viewers, okay? Easy viewers, easy content. I don't have to play the game. Playing the game makes me miserable. Talking about it makes me slightly less miserable, okay? It's that simple. Alright. Alright. So, uh, we're looking at fa False Oasis. Now, False Oasis... That's a fairly obvious buff we can do it. Um, what I would do to False Oasis is basically simple. It pulses five times, every single pulse it removes the condition. Bam! Would that make it a broken heal? Absolutely, and I would love that. Compare it to... Um, uh, well of Eternity, right? Because that's its contention, right? So well of Eternity... Um, 30 second cooldown, less cast time, 30 second cooldown, both of 30 second cooldown. This pulses conditions and it does it to everyone. Like, what the fuck? So why why can't you just run that, right? It would still be fair, right? Uh, this heals for... This is just outright worse in every single way. This is worse in every single way. Jesus. So I would add a Condi Cleanse on every single pulse. That's what I would do. That would make this heal good. That would make this heal fantastic. Then you can play this heal. Right now this is actually worse than Netherfeast. Because you cast a heal, and then you get poisoned, and then you're not healing. It spawns a Mirage Mirror. Yes, exactly. Do you remember when I was crafting this uh, before it came out, guys? I was talking about this. I said, this heal is bad. It all depends on the Mirage Mirror. And when I read it, I could never understand what it does. Creates a mirror, touching the mirror, shatters it, granting Mirage Cloak. Like, what does that... Like, now that we've played with it, we know what it does. It gives you one second of evade after you cast your 30 second cooldown heal. So here, you have AoE healing, light field, multiple conditions removed on yourself and everyone else, the ability to pre-heal, which is essentially you have 80% health. Let's say you have 90% health. You can heal on yourself already at this time, take damage, and then still get value from the second tick of the heal. To the point where you're still getting the full heal tick, and then your cooldown's always like ticking from down there. You're immediately getting benefit of it. Um, 
Also, very easy to cover yourself away from poison. You literally just evade during the final frame of it. Make sure you have Condi cleansed. And you're also cleansing a lot of Condits with this, so it's all just amazing. And then you have this fucking sack of garbage, which gives you Vigor and a Mirror. So the Mirror is supposed to carry it. The Mirror, I read in it, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking, if I'm being honest. It feels like ArenaNet wanted mirrors to be a mechanic for Mesmer, you know? Similar to how Chrono Phantasma was and all that such, but... It doesn't do anything! Um, so, False Oasis, cleanse that Condi every tick. So I tried this skill out many times, trying to see if there was something wrong with me, like with the way I was casting it. Someone can happily tell me if they found a way to use this, because first of all, I could never, ever get it to do six hits. I could never make it hit six times. Ever. I, it, it was impossible to make it hit six times. Even if it did hit six times, a slow-ass projectile that that does six confusion on a utility slot is bad. So, I don't know what this is supposed to do. I, I have no idea how this is a utility skill in the first place. Like, it, it makes no sense. It's... It's just garbage. I would just rework this skill completely. Like, just make a new skill out of it. Because I don't even know what it does. It does damage. It's like a projectile doing damage. I don't know. I would just make something else out of it. So, uh, I have no comment on this. I would just say add a new skill to it. Illusionary Ambush. I love this skill. Um, I love this skill. And uh, I'm not gonna, I'm I'm not gonna ask for um, any changes whatsoever on it. I think it's a fantastic skill. I don't think it's good in terms of like it'll be used. I think conceptually it's a fantastic skill, and given the right build, it can be good. Right now there are no good builds. It never will be any good builds without balance changes. But I don't think you have to do anything to it. It's a smart skill. It's a new mechanic. It's a, it's a cool ability. So it's really cool. Um. No changes whatsoever. Mirage Advance. Shadow Step and Unleash an attack that blinds your target and stealth nearby foes. You may reactivate this skill to return to your original location. So this is basically Shadow Step, but fucking useless. So Shadow Step ports you. Stun breaks. This does not stun break. This has a cast time. Yes. Yes, it has a cast time, by the way. It does a shitty fucking attack. Like, just garbage attack. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck this is. Um, you pour it back and you get some endurance. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's like a shitty shadow step, dude. Um, I don't even know what I would do to it. I would... Um, I don't know. It's okay with an aptitude. Is it though? Three quarters! Of a second. It's almost a full second cast time. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll say, on an offensive condition, Mesmer, maybe it would have some play. Let's not buff it. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. I think it's garbage, but I see the potential on Ineptitude. Potentially, on an Ineptitude, Mesmer, it could be useful. So I'm not gonna touch it. Fine. I think we can all agree that Mirage is confusing utilities, definitely. Okay, so we're not touching these. We're not touching these. This, we're not touching because it just needs to be removed and replaced. It's just completely useless. These two are interesting. I like this one a lot. The other one has potential, so we're not going to touch them. Even though I think this is a shitty Shadow Step, and it would need some buff, I'll give it to you. It has a low cooldown, and it does have synergy with a trait, so let's not touch it yet. Sand Through Glass. Uh <laughs> Okay. So 
Oh, we got a sub. Let's go. Thank you so much, Everis. What up, dude? Appreciate it. Welcome back. Um, so this is my question, guys. This is my question. If we do it like this with a skill, right? The skill is like this now. Evade backwards. Ignore the end and all that stuff, right? Uh, the skill is literally just evade backwards. Like this. Okay? When you look at this skill like this, is it good? What do you guys think? 30 second cooldown, stun break, 300 distance evade. Half a second. Is this skill good? When you're getting a green skin, never. I'm not tired enough for that. Tifus as a heal, exactly. Less cooldown. Well, basically, I'm going to take the answer that the serious people are saying and obviously echo it. Obviously, if all you did was evade backwards, it would be terrible as a utility. It would be fucking useless. Don't look any further than Blink to see that. Like, let's compare it. We have Blink. Which is the same mechanic that you stun break and you move, okay? The difference is this moves you 1200 range. Okay? Like, like that's the difference. So basically, the thing that makes this uh, valuable is... The thing that's supposed to make this good is the... Where the fuck is it? Where did it go? There. The thing that's supposed to make this good is the Mirage Mirror. I think this skill would be 100 times better if you used ammo. That is a very interesting idea. Kind of aids the idea, if I'm going to be honest, because spamming evades. But I think it's an interesting idea. So basically, it puts a mirror. Now, again, for those of you that don't know, what the mirror does is that it spawns a tiny little fucking mirror that's up for... How long is it up? I think it's up for like 4 seconds. How long is it up? I think it's up for like 4 seconds. 4 or 5 seconds, okay? And if you walk onto this thing... If you walk up to this mirror, then you will get one second evade. Mirrors are up for four seconds. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, you get one second evade if you move backwards. Now, moving backwards is supposed to make you disengage, okay? You move backwards to avoid the pressure, and then you need to run forward again. You need to run forward to take the evade. And you have four seconds to do it, which basically means that immediately after you evade backwards, you have to move forward again to pick up the evade, which is essentially, to do that, most of the time, you're going to have to dodge to make sure that you don't take damage running forward. So you're using your evade to get the evade. So basically, it does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. Uh, this skill does nothing. Um, what do we do with this one? Doesn't it have play if you're about face with it? No. Blink to it. No, basically, it doesn't do anything. I think the problem... Look, the problem is less... So basically, the mirrors are just garbage, right? We can agree that the mirrors are garbage. So we have to change the mirrors. How do we change the mirror? Well, there's many ideas. Basically, the mirrors need to actually do something useful. Uh, the mirrors need to do something useful. It doesn't matter if you, the mirror spawns at the end of the roll, because that just gives you one second evasion. The mirrors are bad. That's the problem. So basically, we need to fix the mirrors. Um, 
Just random things that comes to my head. Um, this kind of lapses with the Chrono Master thing, but I'm still gonna type it. So, this is something I spoke about previously, but I think the idea of mirrors spawning clones is a real interesting idea. If you could get clone generation, because Mirage definitely lacks clone generation, so if you could get clone generation in some way, uh, I think mirrors would be a good mechanic to get that in. Um, so that's basically an idea. No, you can't share the mirrors. So basically, imagine that, I dodge back, and then I take the mirror, and when the mirror spawns, I get two clones. No, no, teammates can't take the mirrors. So basically, I feel like that's the best way to make the mirrors. Spawn two clones. I think this is a winning idea. I think John's having 600 range would make it fantastic. Um, I think it would make it an absolutely insanely good elite. It's an elite though, supposed to replace MOA, and elites are in general pretty fucking amazing. So with that in mind, I don't think you're asking for too much, because right now you're taking jaunts because literally there's nothing else to take, and it's useless. Uh, so I think 600 range jaunt would make it really fucking good, because right now it's just outright worse than blink. It's lower than 600 range, it's 400 range right now. So basically, right now it's practically melee. For reference, uh, a sword auto attack is 130 range. So you basically have pretty much um, like... <laughs> it's like three sword auto attacks in terms of range, you know. And that's really fucking bad, you know. 600 is nothing. If you... But basically, let's see here. 600 range. So blink blinks 1200 range, right? So we're gonna blink as far as we can. So this is max range, right? So if we're being halfway across it, it's basically here, you know? This is like... You're elite, you know, to blink this distance to this. But it does damage, question mark. It does, um, it does really low damage, yes, you're right. But Mesmer is not supposed to be on top of the target like that, because it can't survive it. It's supposed to be a blink, Valon. It's not supposed to be anything else than a blink. Now, wh how I want to use my blink, whether that's to gap close, whether that's to do damage, whether that is to cleanse my condition, that's on me. But the fact is, the blink part of this is irrelevant. It, like, there's no point to having a 400 link range, it's useless. Um, and yes, it does 3 confusion, but having 1.2k range won't make 3 confused and broken, you know? Would be a little too strong against melees, it would definitely be very strong versus melees. However, um, Conquest has basically... If people standing on point would be the problem of, uh, like, if, if people escaping melees would be a problem, then bunkers, sustains would not be broken, you know, in all of Guild Wars history. And they've always been broken. You know why? Because bunkers can stand on point. If I can jaunt 600 range away from the point, that doesn't change the fact that you're winning because I'm not on the point. 400 range is just fucking horrible. And I think Jaunt would go from being a fucking frustrating, terrible skill to being one of the coolest skills in the game with 600 range. Um, it's still not better than MOA, but it's cool, and it's new, and I love it. I just want it to not be terrible. And now we only have the traits left. Um, so let's take a look, because we're getting there. We have uh, Minor Adept, 
Using a deception skill will create a clone if you have exactly two illusions active. So I feel like ArenaNet was afraid of um, previous clone um, generation, Chrono Phantasma, Illusionary Version, and whatnot. So, so they wanted, and they want to be very careful, especially with Jaunt. I feel like their idea was that you would make use of this using Jaunt. Um, the problem is that it's just not practical. You can't. If you have two clones up and you're using a deception skill, then you get one clone. It's not often enough where you get value from it. Maybe there's some value with Jaunt, but getting two clones is hard. Getting two clones is so fucking difficult, man. It's really difficult. They need to make a trade to make Phantasms to Illusions. Exactly. I, I was about to say this. Well, I'll get to that later. But basically, this is just... I don't know. Clearly, you can't get a clone whenever you use one... Like, whenever you just use Jaunt, you get a clone. That would be strong. That would be broken. Right? We can't do that. I, I accept that. But I don't know. Two clones is just too hard. And the problem is, Phantasms are garbage for Mirage. Alright. Um... Right, I'm just going to say this. So this obviously make this the go-to only trait. Have a good one, Hanyu. Peace out. This is obviously going to make this the only good trait here. Uh, and maybe this is too strong. But basically, when you have one clone, you do a deception skill. Now, deception skill, for those of you that don't know, is your heal, it's your utilities, and it's your elite. So basically, the way you look at this, it's only jaunt. When you use Jaunt, you get a clone. Is that too strong? Well, basically, it means that three times, 20 second cooldown, uh, different charges, you can get a clone. Is that really that, 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 that strong? Uh, compared to Chrono Phantasma, of course, it's not a Grandmaster trait. That's the main difference. Compared to Illusionary Version before the nerf, I don't know. I, I think this is the only way I can make this trait work. So I'm going to leave it like this. Just make it two or three, not exactly two. There's no benefit when you have three. If you use three, then you just replace a clone. It has to be with one to buff it. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to keep renewing Oasis and Riddles of Sand as they are. Um, because um, I think they're fine skills in their own right. They're obviously going to get replaced by Self-Deception if it doesn't suck dick. Uh, so, um, I don't know. I don't know what I would do to it. Um, Riddle of Sand is just a bad trait to sign, honestly, because you don't want to shatter in general on Mirage. Um, unless you're just running without Infinite Horizon, which I guess you are. Ugh, I don't know. This is such a mess of a class, if I'm being honest. Uh, I wouldn't touch Renewing Oasis in Riddle of Sand. That's what I'll say. It's worth mentioning that the miners of Mirage is so bad. Like... Shadow skills give Vigor and gain super speed when you gain Mirage Cloak. When you compare that, like, what are we dropping in Chrono? Well, we're dropping super speed when I shatter, which is just godlike. This trait is fucking fantastic. Honestly, dude, time catches up versus self-deception. I don't even know if you can tell me that self-deception is better. So, you know what? I'm going to stick to my verdict there. Gain alacrity for each illusion you shatter. This weaves in and works perfectly with your build. You're getting value off your build. Like, when you shatter... You get alacrity. Now, should I give Vigors instead? Honestly, looking at it like that, I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna keep that minor as it is. I'm gonna keep that minor as it is. Um, Shadow Illusions have a chance of becoming Mirage Mirrors. This is a trait I figured would be good. Um, 
Now, Shatter skills, this is where it's interesting. Shatters have a chance of becoming Merge Mirror. So every 20 seconds when you shatter, you spawn a Merge Mirror. Now the Merge Mirror right now is worthless, you just walk on it, you get one second to invade. Whoops, you fucking do, nobody gives a fuck, you're still useless. However, if the shard spawned two clones like previously talked about, then that's interesting, you know? You shatter a clone, and then a new clone pops up, and you can actually keep shattering. Which is, you know, what you want to be able to do as a mesmer. You want to be able to keep using your fucking skills. Because once you shatter without clones, it's useless. Um, so, so Nomad's Endurance... Um, Nomad's Endurance is fine. We're going to keep it as it is, whatever. Shards of Glass... I, I'm going to keep the RNG crap, which is frustrating, but whatever. Because I think that if you shatter enough, it's going to happen. Statistically, you just play with the RNG to your favor. And if you would get clone generation, which is important. We're going to have a lot of clone generation. I should add that I'm making all these changes for what the skill should be. I'm not saying do all of the changes, right? That's obvious. Maybe I should have prefaced with that at the start. Don't do all of the changes, right? Like, don't give it them every single buff on the planet. I'm just tackling them on individually. And showing what the how the trace should look like. Um, so basically, this would be a huge buff and a great one. Mirage Mantle is garbage. It's design-wise, I hate it. I hate this skill. I hate skills that give passive protection and all that stuff. I hate the idea that after I dodge, I get protection. I feel like that's retarded. Like, I, should, I shouldn't be rewarded for after my dodge, you know? It's not even when you evade an attack or whatever. It's like, dodge and then you tank more. It's a stupid mechanic. It's not how skills should be designed. It's just passive protection for no fucking reason. Um, I don't like it at all. Uh, in general. I would, I would uh, like to change this in a lot of fucking ways. I would just outright have a redesign of it. So, Mirage Mantle, redesign it. I didn't even know how. Just something random, like... I'm just gonna take a random offensive idea, okay? Mirage Mantle... So this is my idea with it. Mirage Mantle would be an offensive skill, where after I dodge, if you attack on me, um, you take damage, right? You take conditions from it. Uh, bear in mind that I'm, I need to make a trait that contests with this trait, otherwise this trait is just auto pick, right? And this trait is just garbage right now, so it has to be a good trait. Uh, you either pick the clone generation or the Mirage Mantle, it's not easy. So obviously this would need to have a sizable uh, cooldown, so you're not permanently giving a spike on conditions on people. It's definitely a passive, but it's a passive in, let's say, okay, I'm going to show you an example. Let's give it a 10 second internal cooldown, okay? So I get an effect after Mirage Mirror for, let's say, 3 seconds. That confuses, let's say, 3 Confusion and Torment 2. So that's a lot of damage, right? But it's only if you attack me during these 3 seconds, and it has a 10 second internal cooldown. Okay, you know what? Let's add that a little bit more. Let's just add that, let's say, pff, I don't even know. Something like this. Um, so it basically does damage. You want to downright break Mesmer? No! What? It's a 15 second cooldown. You Are you serious? Are you guys stupid? No, it's 15 second cooldown for basically a Chaos Armor that's stronger. Of course it's a good effect, but you're contesting it with your with a useful trait now. All these traits are garbage right now. We made this trait good, so if we don't make this trait good, then this trait is the only worth picking. I still prefer clone generation. You guys are stupid, so you don't prefer it because this is what you like. So basically, what I mean with this, I'm, I'm writing it stupidly, right? But... Uh... Basically that. And then maybe you add a... 
low internal cooldown static. I don't even want an internal cooldown. I want to be able to punish someone, like, maybe... Uh, something like this. That's what I want. That's what I want on Mirage Mandel. Mirrored Axis. This is going to be much better if we get the Axe change here, where it's... It's basically two confusion per axe, so that's four confusion of the ambush. So it's six confusion of the ambush, so that already makes it a good skill. So we're not changing that. Speed of sand, gain super speed when you mirage cloak. This is kind of a stupid trait, if I'm being honest. The reason why I think this trait is garbage, I, I like it conceptually, but here's the problem of this trait. This trait literally exists for one reason. It exists to counteract the fact that you have no mobility anymore. Uh, look, look, here's the game. Now, if I dodge, I obviously traverse distance, right? We all know this. So the idea is, when I get super speed on dodge, um, when I don't dodge animation, I just get the uh, Mirage Cloak, it's a worse dodge, right? Because I'm not moving. So to counteract this, I get super speed when I dodge, so that I can move, right? That's the logic. The problem is, this should be baseline. It should either be baseline, or it should be... Um, or it should be a benefit to it. Compare this trait, which basically says your dodges move you as much as a normal dodge, to this, which gives you 25% movement speed, 25% less duration of everything, and yeah, 25 permanent movement speed. Like, 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 look at how slow Chrono is the second you remove Chrono. This is what Mirage is, right? This is how fast Mirage is. And now Mirage, when they dodge, they don't even get this movement here. They get the super speed instead. So basically, the Mirage thing should give another buff. Or that should be based on and this should be a different trait. So that's basically how it works. Um, gain super speed when you gain Mirage Cloak. Something else. Um, speed of sand. That's what I would suggest. I suggest that you should always, Mirage Cloak should always give super speed, no matter what. And then this trait actually does something useful. Um, what it is, Arena, you decide. Infinite Horizon. This is contingent on, um, um, Things not sucking tech, basically. Right now, the skills are pretty much useless, so you're not getting any value from it. People just accidentally avoid the staff attack, so you don't get any value from it. If if you get the changes from above, uh, Infinite Horizon will be a better skill on its own. Elusive Mind doesn't need changes. Elusive Mind... Uh... And Dune Cloak is a fucking joke. Uh, so Dune Cloak, for those of you that don't know, I tested it, and it's honestly insane. What do you guys have? You guys seen Dune Cloak? Have all you guys have you guys seen Dune Cloak? Let me ask that. Have you seen Dune Cloak? Because I've seen Dune Cloak. I know what Dune Cloak does. Look, I'm gonna show you what Dune Cloak does. You're not gonna believe me. If you haven't seen Dune Cloak, then you're not gonna believe me when I show it. There's no way I could I could show you Doom Clock, uh, I could tell you what Doom Clock does, and you would believe me. There's no way. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Maybe I can't find it. Fuck. It's so fucking bad. I really want to show it. Maybe I can't show it though. Yeah, I can't show it. Oh, I found it. I think I found it. Yeah, I found it. I found it. Perfect. Alright, you're not going to believe me. This is a Grandmaster trait, okay? Look. Look. Look at this. Look at this. Alright, watch this. So we're going to go and test the trait now. Now pay attention to the goal himself. 
pay attention to the goal himself. I have no idea how this pass testing. It makes me furious that this pass testing. Someone was paid to test this and he gave it an okay. Motherfucker want to go on a launch real quick. Watch this. Watch this. So now we do a little bit of damage. And watch this. Okay, this asshole is attacking now. There, you see it? One, 184 damage. And 3 bleed. One hundred and eighty four damage and three bleed. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Two hundred and ten damage it crit this time. It crit. Two hundred and ten damage, one percent health, and three bleed. Like, I, I think it says, like, there is a trait. There is a fucking trait. Do I have a thief? There is already a trait that does this exact effect, where it, when you dodge, you do damage and you bleed, right? You guys already know this exists, right? This ex this exact trait exists. I'm not gonna add any condition damage or whatever. We're just gonna add the fucking skill, right? Like, this is a skill already. So this is without stats and whatever, but watch. Cripple, bleed, and more damage. This is already a thing. So what the actual fuck? What the actual fuck is Doom Cloak? It offends me. It offends me. It offends me that this is a thing. I genuinely want to know what the fuck this is. I don't understand what this is supposed to be. Pretty sure it does more as well. Yeah, yeah. Conditions applied to bleeding foes have an increased duration. It's garbage. It's garbage. Um, rework it. Something new. Something good. Anything new. Anything good. Maybe a power trait. Maybe a power trait. Maybe a trait that scales with power would be nice. You could add this as a trait that scales with power as well. You could change this so that Vigor gives you condition damage and power, and all, all of a sudden you can actually do more than just play fucking Condi. It's so easy to not be just Condi. So yeah, um, that's my list of what I would do to it. Uh, Rework this. And when I say rework, it's not my job to design new skills. I can just... On, on things that's actually viable. Things that's actually viable. Um, as a mechanic, I can look at it. But some things are just too busted beyond recognition. Just design a new skill. Go back to the drawing board and do your fucking job. Um, so that's basically my full review of Mirage. Uh, in total, Mirage gets... Um, Slap of unplayable right now. It's completely, completely awful. And I realize that Frostball's been talking about how he has a secret build and all that stuff, and it's all super broken and all that stuff. Frostball's the same person who played power well in Bunker Meta. He's the same players losing tournaments left and right, losing to fucking Verp, playing uh, Carry and Amulet and all that stuff. What I'm trying to say is, while he's an excellent player, he's like 12 years old. So, don't take his word on everything. <sighs> All right, that's a pretty good stream, don't you guys think? You guys satisfied? I'll take that as a yes. A sub is always a yes. Now, 
there's something I want to talk about as well uh, before we're done for the day. I want you guys to take a look at the games. Now, maybe you guys consider this a little unfair because of the current state of people testing builds and such. But you know, guys know how I felt. Look at this. This game was in my favor 100 to 500. The second game, the other way around, right? The games were like this all the time. And more than anything, more than anything, I... Let's cut off the music. Can't think. I'm going to be frankly honest with you guys. I am insanely burnt out. Uh, I thought the new specs would make me feel more excited and all that stuff, but I feel burnt out. Um, I feel so burnt out. I'm so sick of having these awful matches over and over again and uh, not getting any fucking proper gameplay going. For me, it's less new builds and all that stuff, although I really want new builds and all that stuff. Like, I want a new metagame more than anyone else, I think, because I've been playing this shit for forever now. Um, LOL, don't play Gilworth, then. Yeah, I was about to get into that. Where if the game can't become better... If the game can't become more fun to play, um, then I really have to do something that I enjoy. Now, I want to stream Guild Wars because I have my community in Guild Wars. Uh, I, I, I love you people and all that stuff. I love everything around it except the game. I can sit here for like I've done now, one hour and 40 minutes straight just talking randomly with you guys. I don't mind doing that. I fucking love that. But... Um, when I play the game, I have to cut off the stream. Part of the reason why I didn't stream during the beta weekend was because, well, it was my birthday, uh, met people and all that stuff, and I basically had a life. Uh, but the other part is I came home, like, a little tired. I was first planning to stream, and I basically convinced myself, well, I'm too tired to do it. And I wasn't. I wasn't. I went to the fucking gym. When at the gym, I met your mom's bedroom. Um, and I just... I, I just don't have any energy. Oh yeah, it was my birthday, like literally yesterday. So, uh, happy birthday, by the way. Thanks a lot, all of you. Fucking assholes. Fucking assholes, not even wishing me happy birthday. Anyway, um, yeah, like, uh, I don't know, we, we have to figure something out. We have to make it fun. Um, and I have to figure out how. And if I can't figure out how, then I have to do something. Uh... Because I, I, I'm not dependent on the money from the stream, of course, at this point in my life, right? But I don't want to lose my community just because I don't need the money from them. That would, I, I, I really do love streaming with you guys and all that stuff. Um, so, become a Gilbert's to coach? <laughs> Take a break. Break hasn't helped. I've been taking a break. It doesn't help. It doesn't help. We need better games. That's what we need more than anything. And maybe that's my uh, problem that I haven't... Maybe we can just make the game better. I don't know. We'll see. I have to figure out what to do. I just wanted to get that off my chest where... I know I don't stream often enough. I know that, but it's generally that I don't enjoy playing anymore. Um... And uh, I really want to stream. Maybe you're getting too old for games. That's not even true. Because during the time when I don't stream, I've played Planescape Torment. I've played Fallout 2. I've played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. And I've played, I'm played. i playing Tides of Penumbra or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm playing all these single player games and just sitting them playing them. Because I want to turn on the stream just so I can talk to you guys and play them. But if I do that, I know that there's going to be a bunch of you fucking chuckle fucks constantly being on my ass not streaming Guild Wars. And... Um, I just need to enjoy Guild Wars again. And we have to figure out a way to do it. Um, because I want to stream for you guys. And it's not about the money. You know, I previously talked about like, oh, well, maybe if I earn more from the stream, it's going to motivate me. That's not the case now. That's genuinely not the case now. Um, I don't... I. I the financial point is irrelevant at this point. I'm doing insanely well um, in that regard. Of course, I endlessly appreciate anyone supporting me. 
Um, it honestly gives me a sense of obligation that I have to give it back to you guys. So I'm so glad you really did it. Because um, maybe I would have just stopped streaming. I don't think I would, but that is a thing. Uh, but that's not the thing that's going to make me become a better streamer for you guys. And genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, um, I want to be a better streamer for you guys. I want to stream more often. I want to continue having the viewership I do. And I want us to grow together. And maybe then we'll have better opportunities in the future with the streams. I just don't know how yet. Um, I know. I know, Universe. Uh, I'll get into that. we got to figure it out. I guess it's just my problem. I just need to do more content. I'll figure it out. I owe you guys that. And I'm sorry that's taking more time than I wanted to. I, I got that off my chest. There's always going to be a difference between peasants and kings. This shit's going on YouTube, by the way. So you guys can wave hi to YouTube now. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.